Go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious Father, we want to thank you for that choir, Lord, how you use it for your honor and your glory, Lord. We pray right now, God, for wisdom and knowledge and understanding and then concerning your word. We pray, God, that we won't add that to your word and, God, that we won't take anything away from your word. Help us to rightly divide your word by your spirit, God, and help me to take my time with this message. It's a powerful message, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. And when we leave from here, we won't leave out the same way that we came in, God. And we leave out different with knowledge and wisdom and understanding, God, in a spiritual bed, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we pray for those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. Repent that you heal and virtue and flow like a river through their bodies, Lord. You say with your stripes we heal, Lord. And then with your blood we're cleansed, we're sanctified, and then by your word, God. We're in this world, but we're not a part of this sin life, Lord. We've been separated by your spirit, Lord, and by your power, God, and by your word, Lord. And we thank you for it, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, a special prayer. Amen. For John Barrett, put a hand of protection around his life, Lord. Amen. As he worked your prayer. 12 hours, Lord. Thank you, God. And what you're doing and how you're blessing them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, have they, God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. Sister Deatra, Lord, put a hand of protection around her life, God. Amen. Thank you for the increase that you're doing in her life, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it, Lord. On that child, Lord. Amen. We give y'all all the glory and the praise for it, Lord. In Jesus, what's the name, God. Amen. Let us brother David wear, Lord, and how you bless him, Lord. Amen. And gave him a promotion, Lord. Sister Elakadama came to wear, Lord, how you gave her a promotion, Lord. Amen. We give y'all honor. We give y'all the glory and the praise, Lord. And what you're doing that fix in Jesus, the Bible says, the Lord. In Jesus, what the name of God. And we pray for the president and those in the thoughts of the Lord. Republican, Democrats, Lord. Let there be peace in the White House, God. Let there be peace in our house, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. Those that are not saved in that White House will be saved, God. Those that are not saved in the house, Lord. That you'll save them, God. In Jesus' name. And everybody say it. Amen and amen and amen. Hello. How you doing, Thanks, Sister Brad. Denise? Amen. Good to see you. Good, good Lord, have you, Sister Denise? Amen. We haven't seen her in a while. Amen. I think she's in the house of God. I want to say a prayer for my cousin. I want to stand again for you for myself. Your cousin? What's your, what, what's your prayer for your cousin for? He got shot. They broke into his house. They tried to rob him. They shot him in front of his children. It was in the bed. And when that happened? Like three days ago. Okay. And um, don't know if he's going to live. You he's believe God is a, is a healer? Yes, he I do. You believe he's a resurrector? Yes, I do. And what's your cousin's name? Jacoby Harkins. Jacoby. Who? Jacoby Harkins. Jacoby. 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 Harkins. 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 Harper. Harkins. 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 Lord, you heard a request, Lord. Jehovah, Je 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 Hawkins, uh, uh, Mr. Hawkins, Lord, touch him right where he's at, God. Amen. You're a healer, you're a resurrection. Raise him up off that bed, Lord, of affliction, God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray right now that you heal and break your flow through his body, Lord. Work a miracle for him. Amen. And, amen. And people know that you, God, you still have surprise. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. And God, we're thankful for it. Especially for Sister Denise, Lord, and what she's gone through in her body, Lord. Amen. We pray that you heal and break your touch her right now, God. Amen. And that body be made whole, God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. And God, we're thank you for that, Lord. You say, we have not because we ask not. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we give you all honor and the glory and the praise for that, Lord. And they come back with a praise report and give you honor, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody say it. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. They say, man, I always pray. Not faint. Pray without ceasing. I wish I could pray one time. But there's always something to pray about. Yeah. It's always something that may be gone through every day. There's not no, amen, there ain't no, it ain't no bricks in between. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, a, it's every day we have to pray. Amen. And bless God. And sometimes you have to pray to man to keep yourself, amen, protected. Yeah. Amen. Because from the seen and unseen part, because yes. we don't know what's coming up ahead of us, but God do. But prayer can change that. Yeah. Can prayer change that? Yes. Oh, prayer change things always. Like always. Yeah. I got a powerful subject as, as, as usual. Uh, when I get through with this message, it's going to be 
a continual message, amen, until the Lord tell me to stop, amen, uh, on this message because it's a lot of groceries. Uh, we're not going to finish a day, it ain't going to happen, amen. So what I use as a subject is I can learn from other people would not do what they did. I can learn from what? Other people. Now, this is what the Word of God is. The Word of God, man, it's our instructions, amen, and, and the things of God. The Scriptures is written about us, amen, for our instructions, man, to seek out, amen, the things of God through other people's mistake. Who, who mistake? Oh, I can't learn from them. I want to learn from their mistake. And then I want to learn about how Jesus prayed. I want to learn how Jesus lived. So I said, this is going to be an ongoing message, ain't it? unless the Lord tell me to shut it down. Amen. So it's going to be an ongoing message. So what we're going to do, we're going to begin with Adam. We're going to see, amen, how Adam, what he did, we want to make sure we don't do the same thing. And when we finish it with this message, I guarantee you, amen, the word of God, you ain't going to be the same. Give the Lord a hand clap for you. I say you ain't going to be the same person because you know how, you're going to know how to get it and you're going to know how to keep it. See, some of them got it, they don't but they didn't keep it. Jesus, help us to keep the Lord. Yeah, Jesus, Bible the center. That's what we're going to learn through the Word of God. God ain't changing. They're like, man, thank you. Come with me in the book of Genesis, amen, the second chapter, amen, the 16th verse, at page 3. At page 3, we're going to start at Adam, because uh, uh, he didn't want you, amen, to start it all uh, on a good foot, but he ended up on a bad foot. We don't want to end up on the bad foot. We want to stay on the good foot. Amen. Come on to Amos, Adam 2, amen, and 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou may freely eat. How many commandments Adam ended up with? One commandment. That's a, now we got more than one. Then sin increased. Sin increased. So now we got more commandments today. Adam may have the one commandment. So you don't have to break them all. All you need is to break is what? One, one of them. Oh, this is going to be a powerful message. Oh, but it's going to bless your soul. Amen. You're going to learn, amen, what they did wrong. So that way we learn that. Because we already did a lot of stuff ourselves. Amen. We don't want to learn from ourselves anymore. Let's go learn from other people so we can keep doing what is right before God. Amen. Look at that 17 verse. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat. In the day that thou eatest thou, thou shalt surely what? Die. Now notice he gave him that commandment. What's going to happen? You want to see what the devil did. He twisted. He turned it around and told him they wasn't going to die. And God told him they will. Don't listen to people. Don't listen to the devil. And don't listen to yourself. And who else? In yourself. In yourself. yourself. Yourself can make you think you're all right or fool you. So I pray for the Lord to deliver from Herman Andrew Young from the devil, from the people, and from those that claim to know God. Because as the scripture said, they uh, claim to know God, but by their works they deny. Amen. So you got some people today that claim to know God. Uh, Paul, he, he claimed to know God. What happened to him? Saul. Saul. It used to be Saul. Oh. And then the Lord changed the name to Paul. Yeah. He was persecuting the world. Church. He was persecuting the church. He claimed to know God. Because the Lord met him on the master's road. Amen. Let him know who he is. Yeah. He can't kick against a prince. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Lord, have mercy of God. So he made a believer out of Paul. I, I can learn from Paul's mistake. So I'm going to what? Make the same. So I, I got a lot of groceries here now. Oh, we're going to go through some of it. Oh, it's powerful. Amen. Look at 18 verse. And the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. Now, God, God want to help. Uh, 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 Adam, amen, have a help me, uh, have, have a companion. So we got companions today. That's why we get married, not shacking up now and living in adultery. They ain't kind of companion you want. You're going against God. It ain't going to be nothing nice for you. So you need to quit it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You need to quit it. Amen. Bless God with your junk fled trying to satisfy that thing. Uh, look at 19 verse. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast. Amen of the field, and every fowl thou, and brought them unto Adam to set, uh, see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So every animal of the day got the name from who? Adam. Adam. 
See, God made Adam wise. He can name animals. So you can't change that cow name to a horse. I tell you what you take that cow and, and call him a horse and see how people look at you. Oh, that's nice. That, that, that cow name ain't gonna be changed. Be a cow. Change that dog name to a cat. Call the dog a cat. Let me get back a bit over in those laws. 25. And Adam gave name, amen, name to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. Uh, but for Adam that was not found and help meet for him. We have 21 verse. And the Lord uh, God called a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. He performed the first surgery. Amen. God did. You know, today man puts you under what they call that? Anesthesia. anesthesia uh, to operate on you so you won't feel nothing. Well, God put Adam to sleep so he wouldn't feel when he cut on him. Then turn around and sew them back up, and you ain't find no stitches. Man will stitch you up. When God go in and perform operation, you can't find that way he went in. Lord, have mercy, God. What a God. Thank you, Lord. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh and, and, and stared thereof. He took a what out of him? A real. He made a woman out of a real. Catch y'all he made a woman out of what? Really? Now you. Let me get back over here, Lord. Uh, 20 second verse. Uh, and, and the real which the Lord God had taken from man uh, made him, he a woman, and brought her unto the man. Uh, Adam and Eve would have to go get her. God, the one was. He brought her. I hope y'all catching this. He brought the woman to the man. Now, now, what's what Adam going to call her? Adam called her, call, call, call her a name, Lord. And, I said, <laughs> and Adam said, this is now born of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Uh, she should be called what? Mm. Woman. Whoa, man. W-O. <laughs> I hope y'all catching that. <laughs> so, so, so the least called Adam. Because she was taken out of a man. <laughs> Uh, 24 boy. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be what? One flesh. And so when, when, when a man and a woman comes together, amen, bless God, they become what? One flesh when they have a relationship. I hope I will be okay now. That's why the God don't want you to land with anybody. Because he make you one flesh. 25 boy. Uh, I'll bless myself here. And they were both naked. The man and then and his wife were not ashamed. Why they weren't ashamed? They couldn't see. They, 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 they had a pure heart. They, they had no sin. Give the Lord a hand to Brother Jerry. Amen. Thank God for our brother. Amen. Bless God. Brother Jerry, we're on page three. And our subject is I can learn from someone else's mistake, so I won't do the same. That's our subject. We want to learn from other people's mistakes. We've made enough ourselves. So we want to learn from other people's mistakes through the Word of God to find out what they did so we won't do that. Amen. Third word. Uh, now here comes the devil. Now notice whenever God bless you, who shows up? The devil. Sometimes he'll show up before you're blessed to try to stop you from getting it. So you want to learn this. You want to learn that through the Word of God. Amen. How to get your blessing and how to keep your blessings from God. Amen. Bless God. So that way you won't lose it. Look at that third verse. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Now, and, and he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, You should not eat of every tree of the garden. So who is the devil using here now? Uh, using the snake. He's using the snake. The third verse, the first. He ain't using the woman yet. Huh? He's using the snake in the car. The devil is. The serpent. Now, Satan is also called a serpent. But here, he's using actually a snake. Huh? He coming in the form of a snake. No, this snake was a snake. He came in the snake and used this snake. They did. So that was in the garden now. So the snake, Satan came in him and talked through him. Okay. Like 
I you caught that one? I changed the shit from the from the donkey. Huh? I changed the shit from the donkey. Through the who? Through the donkey. Yeah, that's right. That's, and, and that's in the Old Testament. As God spoke to that donkey. So it, it was a it was a sheep donkey with a man's voice. God spoke through him. The donkey couldn't speak. So the snake here can't speak. So he had to have somebody to uh, talk to him. And who was that? Satan. Uh, Satan talked to him. Oh, I hope y'all catch this now. Uh, so the niece got hold of some of that. She went back and got another scripture. That's correct. Just like God spoke to the donkey with a man voice. Well, now that would have been enough for me, amen, uh, as a prophet to go home. When that donkey talked to me, and I know I'm riding a sheep dog, and talking with a man boy, and trying to stop me from going that way. Oh, help us, Lord. Do what? Help us and listen, Lord. Second part. And the woman, now here's the woman. He talked to you. I wonder why, the, I wonder why he went to the woman. Y'all know who he went to first? The wicked vessel. Oh, Sister Kim caught down. Who said that? Who God. said that she was a week of Elsa? That's what God said. That's God. That's it, Sister Kim. She got that from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, She's not, she not trying to say anything against a woman. That's what the Word said. The Word said they what? They're weak of Elsa. Mm -hmm. I have to say what the Word. Now, you got some women are stronger than man because the man is weaker than the woman. I hope y'all caught that one. <laughs> you got some women stronger than man because the man is weaker. The uh, hen pet. <laughs> Can we get back over here? That went in the nose, Lord. Where was that now? I got, oh, thank you, Lord. Uh, second verse. And the woman said unto the serpent, uh, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Now, listen with the woman. Who taught the woman to say that? Who taught Adam? God did. God did. Now, Adam had to teach you. Adam. Adam had to teach Eve. Yeah, Eve. See, Eve wasn't there when. Oh, y'all yeah, kidding this. He wasn't there when God told him, because she hadn't came yet. If you notice, it was after when God brought her back as a full grown lady. You know, they asked the question uh, did the uh, chicken come first or the egg? They asked that question, you know. Come on, y'all. We can answer that. The chicken had to come first. You can't have a chicken without an egg. You can't have a woman and a man without children. So God brought them full grown. He brought all the animals full grown. And then they went and reproduced. Yes, sir. And he reversed that. He said you can't have a, a chicken uh, you know, without the egg. You can't have the egg without the chicken. And then the, you can't have the children without the man and the woman. Yeah, did I say that? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you flip flop it. Oh, okay. Thank you, brother. Hello, right. Brother Jerry, listen to that. So you can't have the chicken without? No, you can't have the egg. Without, I thought I said it that way. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Yeah. Amen. We, you can't have it, uh, the egg without the chicken, just like you can't have children without the parents. So he had to make everything what? Full of grown. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Amen. Appreciate that, brother. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes I, I take off too fast. So Brother oh, Jerry helped me out there. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Oh, yeah, well, I want to word it right. Mm -hmm. That's why I need, I need some <laughs> brothers and sisters to help me now. If y'all hear me word it wrong, help me. I don't mind the help. I like to help. I like right. Right always better than. Wrong. I don't want to teach you wrong. I want to teach you right. Thank you, brother. Get a Lord a hand clap, man. Bless God. Thank God for Brother Jerry. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And the woman said unto the servant, You may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. So she telling the serpent, because the serpent talking to her, which is a snake, and the devil talking through him. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, We should not eat of it, neither shall we touch it, lest ye die. Did she quote it right? Yeah, yeah. She did. She quoted exactly what God said. Let's see what the devil going to say. And the servant said unto the woman, You should not show the die. Is he telling her the truth? No. Now he's lying to her. See, that's what the devil do tell you. 
If you know the word of God, he'll come and tell you opposite of what God said. That's why you need to know the word. So when you know the word of God, you're not going to fall for his lies. You're going to stay with the truth. That way you stay right with God. Now you're going to find out by them doing that, amen, they went against God, now there's consequences. Look at that fifth line. But God do know, he said, God, God know. God do know that in the day that ye doubt, your eyes shall be open, and it shall be as God knowing what? Living. Is that part true? Yes. That part is true. He gave him a truth with a what? Lie. With a lie. That's why you got to watch preachers today. They'll give you some truth with some lies, some, lies, some errors. That's it, brother. <laughs> some lies and errors. So you need to know all the truth, nothing but the truth. You know, even in the courthouse, what they tell you to do? Yeah. Put your hand on a Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth? Yeah, and then they ain't telling the truth themselves, but they want you to tell it. And that's a man doing that today. He want all the truth so he can convict you, so he can, so he can lock you up. Or you can go innocent. If you tell all the truth, you can what? Go innocent. Because I'll find out the truth override a lie any day. No, you go right. Oh, it's going right. I'll tell you, it's going to work that night. It's supposed to and it will work. Amen. How I know about that? I know the truth. It set me free. Not some of the truth. But what? All the truth. Look at six five. And the woman saw when you, when we get to this lesson, you're gonna find out the truth works. It gonna work for you. Six five. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food. So it looked good. So all God created was good. But the only thing that make it wrong is when you do wrong with it. Right. Sex is good is when you do wrong, do wrong with it. Try to make your flesh feel good the wrong way. It's only done in marriage. The bed under file and what? Marriage. In marriage. If you if you have it and, you, and, and, and you're not married, your your bed is defiled. Bad preacher come on. And man, go about take the zip. 777-03-1375 East Lucas. Thank you. And bless my own said the Lord. Amen. And that was pleasing the man to die. And it treated to be desired. To make one wide, she took up the fruit down and did eat, and gave what? Hey, I had a better tell me that uh, her husband wasn't that. What the word said? He was right there. He right there. He should have slapped that fruit out of her hand. Said, honey, 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 don't do that. Well, you want us to get kicked out of the garden? That's what he should have said. He's supposed to be the head of the house. But he went on and gave in. Says why? Oh, I told you it's going to be a good lesson. And gave also her husband and with her, and he did what? He did it too. Now they're both in trouble. Now, if, if, if Adam would have stood his ground and his wife would have ate the fruit, would he got would he got put out of the garden? No. No. That's why we want to learn from other people's mistakes. Just because you make a mistake doesn't mean I got to make it. Because you, you're doing wrong in the church. That don't mean you gotta do I gotta be wrong in the church. Just cause the preacher doing wrong, the choir member don't have to do wrong. The ones in the people don't have to do wrong, cause the preacher doing wrong. Amen. Amen. And said, Lord. Amen. Seven bird. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made them apron. Now, when the eyes became open, they became they knew they was naked. So what called the eyes to open to see the evil that they're doing? Disobedient. Disobedient, I'll let you see evil. See, that's why people call themselves hiding the day. They're closed the door. They can nobody don't see them. And the Bible says, God go, eyes go to and fro. Amen. He can see what you're doing. Amen. He got books. He writes stuff down of what you're doing. Huh? I said, wow. Oh, God is somebody. That's why it's good to have knowledge. Knowledge of his word. My people perish. 
for lack of knowledge. They got some knowledge, but they're lacking some. Thinking God can't see them. They're on that phone talking all that noise. Like God can't hear. Like God can't what? And they're up there gossiping. Oh, yeah, you know what you're going to say before you say it. That's right, Brother Bob. Amen. Get a lot of other hand and clap it, man, for the word. You know that before you know it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's good, brother. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they so fig leaves together and made themselves apron. That's why when a person commits sin, they don't feel, they don't feel clean. Feel kind of dirty. Apron. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Can you hide from God? You can't hide from God. They call themselves hide. People call themselves hide in the day. Trying to hide their sin. Don't tell nobody that we're doing this. You got to tell nobody. God already know you're doing it. You need to recant. Get right with God and quit it. Night five. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said to him, Where art thou? Oh, you, who he called for? I wonder why they called Eve. <laughs> huh? Because he knew he called, he called him the man that's supposed to be in charge. He put Adam in charge. He did what? He, called, he told Adam, called, uh, uh, you named every even named his wife, woman. So he put him in charge. He called for Adam. Once we've well been running the show. Lord called Adam and said to him, Where art thou? And the tent for her. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. He did what? <laughs> yeah, but what was that he heard? And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. So he heard God's voice in the garden. Amen. God <laughs> called him. He knew the voice of God. Let them burn. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Who told you that, Adam? Now, notice God already know he knew that he was going to sin. That's why he had his son way from the creation of the world, the Bible said. He had a light, which is his son, because he knew Adam was going to fall. God already knew that. He knew everything about you. That's why I need him in my life to help me to do right. That's why you said Jesus is the second Adam. Huh? That's, that's right, Sister Talk. I mean, Sister uh, Denise. That's why I say Jesus is the what? Second Adam. Let's stop and pray for Sister Tony. Sister Tony, amen. Lord, amen. Sister Tony came out of my mouth, Lord. Amen. We pray for her right now on that job, Lord. Put a head of protection around her, God, as she's working this morning. Amen. And keep it by your spirit and by your power, God. In Jesus' name, and everybody say it. Amen. 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 Release that right now, Lord. Amen. Get it off of me. I'm going to pray for her. I have to pray. Amen. Bless God. But the Lord giving people to pray for, I have to pray for them. He said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Wherefore I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. Twelve verse. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to, to be with me, she gave me the, of the tree, and I did eat. Who you blaming here? Ain't no blame game ain't going to work. Don't, don't blame somebody else for you acting like you have. If it wouldn't be for so and so, I wouldn't act like that. No, it's just coming out of you because that's what's in you. And you need to pray and ask God, amen, to deliver you until you go free. Look at that 13th verse. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Who she blamed? She blamed the serpent, the snake that the devil used to talk through. Now she blaming the snake. Adam blamed the God and, and the woman. And the woman passed it on. Now I know that the snake can't talk because the devil probably gone now. He got, he got the snake in trouble. I will never do tell you. He'll, he'll talk through you, use you, and then he'll take off. Now God got to deal with you. Amen. Who got to deal with you? That's who you run to. Uh, that's who you run to. That's who you run to? Mm -hmm. To who? That's who you got to run. That's his and, and and learn how to run to him before you do wrong. How, what's wrong with that picture? If if I learn how to run to God before, then I have to suffer the consequences. So that's why I'm, I'm practicing. I'm practicing to go. That's why I'm, I got this message here. 
amen, and learn from them that I got to go pray. I believe if Adam would have went and prayed to God, amen, I, without a doubt, if he would have prayed to God and said, God, I'm about ready to do wrong here, I need you to help me, and my wife. And who else? He should have stood in the gap for his wife in pride. Give the Lord another hand clap, amen, for the word. Thank God. I say thank God for the word. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and the Lord God said to the woman, uh, let's go to the uh, 14 verse. And the Lord God said to the serpent, uh, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Now, know the serpent can't talk. Why, why are you talking now? The devil got him. 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 So he, he's, he, he can't talk. So the Lord will put a curse on him. Every beast, of, now you're talking about the beast of the field now, because he's, he's a slave. He's a beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall I go, and dust shall I eat all the days of thy life. So this, this, this serpent stood upright at one time until the curse came on him. Now you got a blue runner. You know what a blue runner is, huh? They run on their tail, and, and when they catch it, they whip it with their tail. Now they got to go back on their belly. belly because that's a curse. They can't stay on the tail. But I just go to show you that one time they used to do that. They used to walk. They allowed the devil to use them. I got a question. Yes, sir. I was going to the left room. I don't know how to get across the room. I'm going to be back. If Adam would have, when God was looking for him, and, and, and you already know we did that, right? Mm -hmm. If Adam would have, would have repented and told God, Not saying what he said about the woman you gave me, but what he said, so I'm sorry about eating up the tree. I didn't get the answer to that. When I when that question come to my mind, you didn't get that. Thank the good Lord what he did. Adam is he was repentant and asked for forgiveness of eating up the tree at that time when he was looking for. Right, it couldn't either one of them repent. Adam didn't repent. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he didn't repent. repent. So not. we're going to deal with some, some parts of the word of God through repentance. How he forgave some people. Yeah, he did. And some people he didn't forgive. Like Saul. Saul is one of them. I got that in the notes. I don't, know, we, we're going to, I don't think we're going to get that this morning. But we're going to see that he repented. And then you also had Esau. So you ain't got but a couple, maybe, maybe two people. Hey, man, that showed that God didn't forgive. But you find a whole lot of them that he did. I like to give it all out because I don't know what God going to do in that particular situation. But I do know this. I, I do know this. That I, I'm seeing God to stop sinning. So I want to what? My prayer now today since I have knowledge of the word is help me the Lord to stop doing wrong and, and make me perfect. Can God do that? Oh, he, he, he's the one who created everything so he can do it. So that's my pride. So I always seek, amen, not to uh, go into sin, but seek not, always seek not, not, not to do sin. Seek that first. Amen. Don't go into it. That's what you ought to seek now. So to answer that question, it would have to really have to happen. And that way I have the knowledge to know that he did. But I know that he can because it's in his word for us to repent. But that was that what in the Chronicles tried it. If my people call by my name, humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from that wicked way, then I hear from heaven. I hear that cry. So that's a repentance there. So we know that God set forth in his word for us to repent. What John preached, he preached what? Repentance. repentance. To receive Jesus Christ. So we know it meant us in God's word. So I see more of God's repentance than I do of him not repenting. But I don't want to go find out. I, I don't know what. I don't want to go find out whether he's going to forgive me or not. That was just a thought that hit my mind, though. Yeah, but that's a good thought. And, it, and it's good to study the word of God to see how God do things. 
Even David, he prayed and fasted, amen, for that child. When he took that man's wife, she became pregnant. He prayed and fasted. Did the child live? No, sir. What happened to the child? Died. The child died. But he prayed and fasted. He repented and prayed and fasted for the child died. So the next child he had was Solomon. What God did to Solomon? Made him the wisest man in the world. So God, you know, how God do things, a lot, a lot of people try, we can't figure him out. So what I what I do in this uh, area, because I find I can do either all, is not to do it. If I don't do it, do God have to whip me? Do he have to chastise me? Uh, so he wouldn't have to chastise me if I seek after God to stop it before it happens. If Jonah, why Jonah went in the bed of the whale? Well? He disobeyed God. So why didn't Jonah go and pray before? Now he's praying in the bed of the whale. Well. Where are you praying at? Did God get him out of that bed of the well? Yeah, God got him out of the bed of the well, but he was in there for three days praying. How come I can't do three days praying not to go in the well? I hope y'all catching this one. So this is what we want to teach, speaking to Jesus, Bible Center Center. Let's learn from other people's mistakes in the Word of God and learn how to pray. Now, Jesus Christ is our good example on prayer. Did Jesus Christ pray? Yes. He always was praying. He even prayed when it was time to go to the cross. What did he say? Not my will, 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 let thy will be done. He had a will. But he didn't want his will to be done. He wanted his father. And he said the same prayer how many times? Three times. Did he get the victory? We know he got the victory until he went to the cross. Give the Lord a hand clap who he is. That's a good example right there. Lord, have mercy. Did it when he was tempted? Did he sin? No. No, he whips in with the what? word. With the word. Oh, we got an example. A good example. Now we're gonna find out these examples ain't too good. Yeah, we're gonna find out these folks ain't, ain't no good example. So we don't want to do what they're doing. Amen. Amen. Give them all another hand clap, of man. He is God. I say God is an awesome God. Thank God for the word. Amen. Bless God. Uh, so now he's going to put a curse on the, he's starting off with the serpent. And then he's going to put a curse in that on the woman and on the man. <coughs> because of their disobedience. So it don't pay off. 15 verse. I will put enemy between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now what a snake normally by that that you are? As you heal. And what you know I'm going to do with his head? Beat you beat his head in. Amen. That's why I take, see, I know the word of God. I take me about a 10 foot. If I can't get a 10 foot, I, I take, I use a six. Six is good. I take me a six or a 10 foot pole and beat that head in until the tail ain't moving. Because yeah. the Bible said I'm going to bruise his head. I want to bruise his head before you what? Bruise, bruise my heel. So I'll let him know he after my heel. And put poison in my heel. So the poison can shoot through my body and then I'm gone. I, I, I ain't playing that game. So he can he gonna get his head beat in, in prayer before he do me something. See, because he ain't that close to me. And in Louisiana, what they did, they wore they wore uh, boots, rubber boots. You know why they wore, they wore rubber boots? So if they were walking in the field and they couldn't see the snake, the snake would uh, shoot at their heel and bite the rubble and they can't bite through rubble. That's all the people used to do that. I don't know, younger people probably don't know nothing about that. But the older people had some wisdom, they wore them rubber boots, long rubber boots, and walk in the field. So the made the snake shot it. Hey Amen, they couldn't do them nothing. Hey man, get a lot of another hand clap, man, here. That's the word. Hey man, so the word of God told me what that snake going to do. Hey Amen. And to her seed. Hey Amen. Bless God. That's the children she was going to have. Hey Amen. Bless God. Lord, have mercy, God. So the David got a lot of children in the world. Uh, let's look at another one. My God, my God, my God. Uh, 16 verse. Unto the woman he said, 
I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to, the, to thy husband, and it shall rule over thee. Is that going on today? Yes. Oh, but my brother might say it's bullshit. Some, some women submission to their husband, and some not. I want to tell you, tell you like it is. Some submission, and then some want to rule the man. Instead of letting the man rule the house. Now, if the man is not saved, I wouldn't tell you to let him rule. And the Bible says unto the Lord. So if the man ain't right, man, I'm not, I'm not telling a man a woman to submit to somebody doing wrong. Amen. The Bible says it's unto the Lord. Amen. So you got to make sure the man is, is doing right to submit. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, but uh, that's what the word says. Amen. Bless God. Because uh, uh, the rebellion of day against the world. Amen. As, as usual. Look at the 17th verse. And to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened to the voice of thy wife, it has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed the ground of thy sake, and sorrow shall eat of all the days of thy life. Now he put a curse on the man. He had to work by the sweat of his brow. Amen. That's a curse he put on. Him. And he said, Because you look, listen to the voice of who? Your, your wife. You went and listened to your wife, Adam. I told you not to do it. And you went and listened to her voice. So women, if God's word says something, and the man's word is against God, should you listen to him? No. No, no you got to listen to him. You got to listen to his voice. Oh, I'm going to make this thing crank. See, it goes both ways. It, it, it goes for the man and the woman. You got to listen to the voice of God and you listen to people. I don't care who they are. No, that's my answer there. Uh, Lord, have mercy, God. Amen. 18 verse. Thralls also and pleasant shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb uh, of the field. Look at 9 verse. And the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread. Do man break out in the sweat? Yes. Oh, yeah, when it's hot out there. And sometimes when it's cold, you can bring out in the sweat. If you got too much clothes on, you get back over here, Lord. Uh, the sweat of thy faith, thou shalt uh, eat bread, uh, till thou return, amen, unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken. For dust thou art, and to dust shalt thou return. Now, notice, man was supposed to live for how long? Yep. Forever. But because of disobedience, it brought sin. So sin will do what to you? Yeah. It'll kill you. The wage of sin is what? Yeah. That's a payment. I don't like the payment, y'all. I'm trying to say something to all of y'all. I do not like the payment. I let a fight sin than give in to it. We teach you how to fight the devil over here. How to fight sin. Amen. He didn't want to start it in the God. The devil behind sin. So you got to know who's behind it. Amen. He's the one. He don't mean you no good. Adam and Eve in heaven? I don't know. Uh, that's a dead judgment going to come. He don't say in, they in heaven. I ain't never read they was in hell either. So I wouldn't know, little brother. God know. Ho hopefully they got it right with God before they left from here. Okay, see, you can get it right with God even if you did sin. You can what? You can get it right. Repent. Repent. That's it, sister me. So hopefully they repented the day that and got it right with God before they left? That's a good question. Uh, I ain't got the answer down there. Only God knows that in there. And I don't have those scriptures to back me up. So I, when I don't have the word of God to back me up, I don't know. You don't know? You can't get in trouble for it. I don't know. Oh, uh, you can't get in trouble for it. No, you don't know. You just don't know. No, that's not. I had nothing to tell. <laughs> no what? I don't take nothing away from his word. I don't like to add to his word. And I sure don't like to take it away from it. Put it in the fire. Amen. That's good. Enough, David. Amen. And Adam called his wife uh, named Eve because she was the mother of all living. And to Adam also and to his wife and, and did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothed them. Amen. They didn't even have to go to Walmart or Target. Of course, they had nothing back then. Who put clothes on? God put the clothes on. He killed a lion. And clothing. God, 
Yeah, yeah I think I'm going somewhere. I ain't going nowhere. God can make some clothes for me. Put the second verse. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man will become as one of us to know good and evil. So God have knowledge of what? Good and evil. God does. Do you do the evil? No. I don't do the evil, but you got knowledge of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want. I think Jesus Bible is said it. We want knowledge of good and evil, so we won't do the evil. We pray and ask God to help us not to do that for us and help us to do the good. Become as one of us to know good and evil. Uh, Lord have mercy, God. And now let us, lest we put it, put forth his hand and take of the tree of life and eat and live forever. So now they're going to have to get rid of Adam and Eve because in the garden there's a tree of life. So what the Lord said, look, we got to get out of here. We got to get them out of here because if they eat of that, how long will they live? Well, forever in the what? In sin. I hope you all catching this one. So God have to get rid of the evil. Is any evil going to go to heaven? No. Why not? No. Oh, they, they had some evil in heaven. What happened to them? They threw them out. They threw the old devil out. He wanted to go do, he wanted to run the show. He wanted to do evil and thank God was going to put up with all that foolishness he was doing up there in heaven. He thought God was going to be, it was going to be all right for him to do it. You got some Christians today. Amen. Because God do good to them. He bless them. Amen. You're going to see in the, in the lesson. This is a powerful lesson here. And we're going to try to, hey, Lord, let me take my time with it. You're going to see in the lesson, amen, how God bless people and they turn around and went against God. And they cost them. Because they didn't know how to keep their blessing. They didn't, they didn't want They didn't know how to keep their blessing. We're going to learn how to keep it once we get it. We're going to get it and keep it. Uh, look at 23 verse. Therefore the Lord God sent him, amen, from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. Now look at 24 verse. So he drove out the man and he placed in the east of the garden of Eden cherubim. And the flaming sword was trying every way to keep the way of the tree of life. You, know, you think that's going on today? Yeah, it's going on. You got cherubim today, amen, garden of the tree of life in the garden. I don't know where the garden is, but I sure don't want to go work, go find out where it's at. He's got some cherubim there uh, with, a, with a sword to cut you down. They ain't going to let you go in. And it's here on this earth. Yes, sir. You know, this morning I was getting up clean myself up. Concerning that matter. Mm -hmm. And then when the, when the situation arose, hey amen, God, I mean, he was free. It didn't bother him because he was free. See, that's a good part of, of God. When you do right, he doesn't want to do wrong. When it comes to you, it ain't going to bother you because you're free from that. What you said, you know, you reap what you sow and what you do to others, right it's going to come back. Yeah. How many times it work like that? It's going to work like that all the time. So if we got knowledge of that, always so good seed to people that do you wrong. Because then you're going to reap what you sow. And they're going to reap what they sow. It's just going to work like that. That's God's word. You reap what you sow. So I, that's why I, I pray for people that don't like me. I pray for them. Because I'm not even what I'm doing. 
I'm praying for God to save you. I'm praying for God to bless you. What's going to happen to me? I'm going to get blessed. I'm going to get saved. That's what I'm praying for you. So what I'm putting on you is going to come back to me. What you're putting on me, it's going to come back to you. So it's good to have the knowledge of how to reap, how to sow and reap. If you learn how to do that, you're free for God to do things for you. To bless you. That's good. Give the Lord a hand. Who get the glory? Oh. Give the Lord a hand. God, for somebody say he did it. He did it. They done it. Break God. And he went free. Love. So the thing came back on the person. Amen. And did something to him. Uh, it's going to work like that. Yeah. Now, say it again, Sister Denise. If a certain individual, if someone is a sinner, uh -huh. and they're doing wrong themselves, yeah. and someone comes in their presence, and they are doing wrong, but they, or they possibly might be getting into some type of trouble, and this person is a sinner themselves, goes to God and pray for this other individual that is a sinner, how would they be handled? They go sinning? Yeah. And but the other one try to help the one that's sinning? The one that tries to pray for the one that's sinning to save him. Yeah. Uh, that's what you call, you know what a hypocrite is? What, what's a hypocrite? Not to mention, and you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You heard How old are you? 11? You let David 11? Yeah. yeah, you know you bring the word now. You didn't bring the word twice. So little David said, uh, a hypocrite, this is little David now, 11 years old. He said, hypocrite is the person telling you what to do, but they ain't doing it. So you don't want to be a what? You want to be a hypocrite. So you want to help, you want to first have your life right. Now your life is right with God. That's what David said, Lord. Amen. Create me a clean heart, renew the right spirit in me, and then I can teach transgressors their way. David realized he had to get cleaned up first. Then he could teach them how to do right. See, the Lord had to clean me up. He said, take the log out your eye. So you say clearly to take the speck out your brother's eye. I got to get the thing out my eye that I'm trying to get out. Now, I got a log in mine. You know what a log is? That, that thing is big. You, you can't see through a log. And now you got this speck. I'm trying to take a speck out your eye with this log in my eye. I might stick you in your eye because I can't see the little speck. So if I get the log out, now I can see clearly to help my brother. Oh, brother, wait a minute. I see this speck there. I can see now because I'm, I'm, I'm free. Let me get a little speck out your eye. Did that answer that question, Sister Denise? Get a lot of hand clap, man, for you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Anybody else have any questions? Now just stop. Amen. We'll look over it with the word. With the what? Word. Amen. We'll answer with the word. Amen. Let's go. Let's look at... Uh, Page 189. Amen. Page 189. And we're going to be dealing with Moses. Amen. This is another example for us. Now, Moses, amen, let the people, uh, that's why you don't want people to upset you now. You don't want what? You don't want the people to upset you. Because then you're, you won't do what God's word said do. The page uh, 189. So we're going to use Moses as an example. Now, Moses, amen, was a, was a man of God. He was the most. Meekest, the Bible says he was the meekest man in all the world. So we know that Moses had a spirit of meekness, but the people kept pushing his butt. So if people keep pushing your butt, make sure you keep praying. Keep what? Keep praying. Don't stop praying, because you're going to need that strength. You're going to need that power to deal with the people. Amen. Look at uh, page 189, the 20th chapter, amen, the 10th verse. And Moses and Aaron gathered, amen, the congregation together, Amen. Before the rock. And he said unto them, Here now, you rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? What do you call it? It really? sounds like you ain't too happy. It don't sound like. See, when you get mad with people, <laughs> don't get mad with the people. Don't do what? Don't get mad with the people. But Mike didn't get mad. Amen. He felt he was calm. Don't get mad with the what? With the people, because you end up doing something wrong. Look at 11 verse. 
And Moses lifted up his hand and with, it, with his rod smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. We got 12 verse. Right? And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye, ye should not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. Now the Lord told him to speak to the rock. But he did what? He hit the rock. So what's the difference between speaking and hitting? That's a big difference, isn't it? So if, I, if God tells me to do something, and I do it opposite of what he said, disobeying. that's disobedience, that's, and that, that calls what? Sin. Amen. So here we see in Moses is sinning because the people made him mad. Don't let people make you mad when you sin against God. Don't do that. Pray and ask God to deliver you from that sin. You can tell when you're getting angry. The Bible said be angry and what? Sin not. Don't sin against God. Are you ever pray? Immediately, Jesus Christ got angry, but he didn't sin. We want to show you in the word of God that Moses was told to hit the rock in another area. So a lot of times when you know the word of God and people make you angry, you can forget what his word says and do the wrong thing. So what you can do, preacher, you pray. Calm yourself down. Get yourself calm down before you do so. You know when you're calm, you think better. Come to page 86. That's section 17 and 6. Page 86. Page 86, 17 and 6. Behold, I stand before thee uh, there upon a rock and hole. And thou shalt what? Page 86, 17 and 6. Behold, I stand before thee upon the rock and hall, and thou shalt what? Mighty rock. Uh-oh, he told him to hit the rock there. Now notice he told that in Exodus 17. So that's why he received instructions. So he's still thinking in his mind that he's supposed to hit the rock when God already told him to speak to the rock in the second time, to speak to him. So sometimes God will tell you to do one thing, and he might tell you to do something else. Differently. He don't want you to do it the same way. Because he gave you another instruction. What is powerful stuff here? And uh, she had uh, water out of it. The people made drink. And Moses did so in the sight of, of, of the elders of Israel. So did he sin there? No, he didn't sin because he did exactly what God told him to do. Here, you find out that he sinned because God told him to speak to the rock. And said he hit the rock because the people made him mad. Now he can't go in the promised land. Uh, so that's why we teach speaking Jesus Bible the center. Do you want it all? Yes. Yeah, we want it all. We greet over here. We want, amen. We want the salvation. We want our healing. We want our prosperity. To get it all, I got to obey God. To keep it all, I got to. Uh, okay, go disobey once again. Come with me. Come with me to our uh, page. That's it. Lord, what I got here? Oh, I hear it. Is. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. To page 1058. Page 1058. 1058. Page 1058. That's going to be Matthew 17 and 1. Matthews 17 and 1. Matthew 17 and 1. And after six days, Jesus uh, taken Peter, James, and John. Now notice that those three he always took with him. He had, he had 12 apostles, but these three he always took with him to go and pray. So it's got to be... Uh, I always take people that believe something. Don't take folks that don't, don't believe nothing. Maybe you're going to go pray with somebody. Now, know these three were Jesus. Amen. And bring them up, amen, to the high mountain of Paul. Amen. Second verse. And was transfigured, amen, before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as a light. Now, Jesus Christ, amen, is being transformed here. He's being transformed. And look at that third verse. 
And behold, there appeared unto him, unto them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Now, where Moses at? See, Moses left out, lost out on the promised land, but did he lose out on the spiritual blessing? No, he didn't. So God what? God corrected him because of his error. He didn't go in. Because he corrected him, he let him come into heaven. We can talk about Moses going to heaven and Elijah. What did God send to Elijah? He sent a chariot to pick up Elijah. Elijah didn't chase that. Elijah, mm -hmm. he sent a chariot mm -hmm. to pick him up, mm -hmm. take him to heaven. Y'all got, you got that in that day? We know he went to heaven because we got it what? It's recorded. Now, I could say Adam went to heaven, but I ain't got nothing to back that up. It might sound good, but it ain't in the word. I'll leave that alone. I got here, the word can back me up. That they went to heaven because they talking with Jesus. Lord, have mercy, God. Moses and Elijah. Let me repeat. Peter didn't get ready to say something. He didn't get himself into trouble. I don't know about that. I didn't need it. Look at that fourth verse. I then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us, let us make three tabernacles. One for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. This is Peter talking. That's why sometimes if you don't know nothing, it's best to what? Sure. Shut up. And listen. Till you learn something. <laughs> Tell you what? You know, some people, some people are, are being there and the teacher trying to teach something at, at school, and they and they up there telling the teacher everything, and they and then when it's time to take a test, do they pass? No. I wonder why. They shut their mouth so they can learn something. Look at this one. While he yet spake, behold, a man, a, a, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear what? Listen, Peter, Peter, hear my son. Peter's talking right now. And the Lord had appeared to Peter and shut up. And listen to him. This is my son. He wants to be a what? Three times now. He want to be a tabernacle for Jesus. Sound good, don't he? He want to be one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. So Peter want to take over. He want to take over. He want to do what? He want to take over. <laughs> and the Lord had to come. God had to come down, straighten Peter out. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were what? So afraid. Oh, they got scared. When God come down to talk with him and appeared to him as a light. And Jesus came and touched him and said, and rise and be not. Don't be afraid. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, Peter. I know you. Yeah. Me, uh, Abraham. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. Amen. So Jesus Christ, amen, was the only one that was left. Amen. When they opened their eyes. Lord, have mercy, God. Now, Moses and Elijah went back. Amen. They're going back. Amen. I don't know what they were saying to Jesus. Did the Bible say what they talked about? So I can tell you what they said. And as they came down man, from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell a vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. He said, Don't tell him about it until I be risen. Now he's he been risen, and now it's recorded. And the disciples like him saying, uh, why then say the scribe and Elijah must first come? That was a question. And Jesus answered and said, you're talking about Elijah now because that's who they saw. Amen. And Jesus answered and said to them, Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto thee that Elijah is come already and they know him not. Uh, but he but has done unto him whatsoever they listen. Uh, Likewise, should also the Son of Man suffer them. You're talking about the Pharisees and the scribes. Amen. So who was Elijah here? You're going to see it in the 13th verse. Who Elijah is. And the disciples understood that he spake in the name of what? John the Baptist. So God put the spirit of Elijah on who? John the Baptist. Can God do that? He did it. Is anything too hard for God? 
I ain't nothing to do for God. That's why when you're in, in a church sometimes, amen, and the preacher got a knot on him, amen, sometimes that knot will hit you. It'll fall on you. God will take it off that preacher and put it on, on you. And sometimes you got more knowledge than some preachers do. Oh, Lord, that mercy of God. I wonder why it's like that. Because you spend more time with God. If a preacher ain't spending a whole lot of time with God, you all, guess what's going to happen? You're going to know more, and you're going to have a greater norm. Yeah, <laughs> for the mic said, ask David about that. David said, you knew more than his teacher. I said, wait a minute, Lord. How does man get no more than his teacher? Because the Bible says he meditate yeah. on God's law day and night. He was meditating on God's word more than his teachers was. So he ain't not knowing. No, no. Oh, y'all caught that. I, I guarantee you, you read the four Gospels, and when you get to John, you'll find out John knew more about, uh, my God, my God, about Jesus and Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Now, you will find out that John knew more because he laid in the bosom of Jesus. He was always close to Jesus. John was. And then when you find out John, and then was close to Jesus and other disciples, that's to come in you. I hope y'all catching this. This thing ain't hard. The more you spend with God, the more you're going to know about God. The less you spend with God, the less you're going to know. You ain't going to know more and you don't spend time with him. Ain't gonna happen like that. Oh, I gotta watch my time, Lord. I got some grosses here. Hey, amen. So we find out, amen, that John, amen, he spoke of John, amen, and Simon's understood then, hey amen, who he talked about. Let's deal with Joshua. Let's go to page 264. Hey amen, page 264. Page 264. And we're gonna look at uh, Joshua, the fifth chapter, the first verse. Now, Joshua, the one that brought him in, him and Caleb, him and Caleb brought the children of Israel in because now Moses had died. Moses had died. Now we got Joshua and Caleb, amen, that obeyed God. So now they still was able to bring them into the promised land. I hope y'all catching this. Moses didn't go to the promised land because he disobeyed God. But he was went, he went to heaven. He went to be with the Lord. He just lost, lost all on the material blessing. Here we want to lose out on. Nothing. We want it all, Lord. You paid it all, and we want it all. Amen. And uh, we're going to take our time, and we're going to deal with the thing Jesus Christ paid for, so that way you know what you got. And then we're going to teach you how to keep it. Once you get it, we're going to teach you how to keep it. Amen. Look at Joshua, man, uh, 5 and 1. And he came to pass, when all the kings of uh, Amorite, amen, which war on the side of Jordan, amen, westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites, which were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of, uh, of Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over, that their heart melted, neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. Well, what God did with them, just like he, he let them go to the Red Sea, amen. So the promised land was on the other side of Jordan. And to get on the other side of Jordan, there was a river. And what God did, he dried it up so the children of Israel can walk across. So the water was separating them, amen, from getting to the promised land. But I can tell you one thing. Ain't nothing can separate your promise but you. And you can't separate your promise if you go to God in prayer. And then begin to pray and seek God. And then like you never did before. And read his word like you never did before. And then you understand how to get the things from God that God already paid for. Over 2,000 years ago. It's already paid for. Ain't something got to be paid for. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Where that preacher comes on. And then buy my ticket. Zip. 777-03-1375, East Lucas. Thank you. Let's look at another. Amen. Let's look at uh, uh, page 294 as Judges 2 and 6. Page 294. Judges 2 and 6. When Johnson had... He had let a man the people go. The children of Israel went every man into his inheritance to possess the land. 
uh, and, and, and the, uh, Lord, I must say, seven brothers. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders uh, that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. My God, my God, my God. Uh, you're going to look at his eighth verse and what year, how old Joshua was when he died. And Joshua, son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, amen, being 110 years old. He was 110. He had to go. Everybody passing through. Is anybody here to stay? No. I wonder why. Adam did that. Adam did it. Adam did it. But, who, 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 but Jesus mm -hmm. came and gave us eternal life. We're going to teach you how to get to eternal life. It's going to take a little time. It's going to take me time with the Lord. We're going to teach you how to get it. Once you get it, we're going to teach you how to keep it. Now, I know the children of Israel got the promised land, but did they keep it? No. That's right, Brother Mike. They got it, but they didn't keep it. Look at 9 verse. And they buried him in the border of the inheritance of uh, Tamanah, the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the of hill uh, Ge Geach, Kenburn. And also all the generation were gathered and entered to their fathers. And there arose another generation from them, who knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. So where is Joshua? He's gone. You got another generation coming up. Now, when we leave out, what's going to happen? They got another generation coming behind us. Brother David, the brother David going to carry out the torch. That's another generation coming up. I hope y'all catching it. My mother is passed. My dad is passed. My uncles is passed. All my uncles, all my aunties, they're gone. So there's another generation came behind them. And then when I pass, there's another generation coming behind me. And little David going to be one of them. That's up. Hold on to the truth, little David. Don't let man deceive you. Stay with the word, brother. Your hand doesn't sound. And don't what? Don't take nothing away from it, little David. Don't listen to people. Listen to the word. Amen. Don't, don't preach what the people want. Preach what the word say. Amen. Ten verse. Oh, look at ninth verse. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Temachah, and in the mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gaius, Tenbrun. And all of a sudden, all the generations were gathered and men unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done before Israel. That's what we dealt with earlier. Eleven verse. And the children of Israel did what? Uh-oh. What y'all think is ready to happen now? They fit, to get, they fit to lose their land. They fit to get punished. So here we're going to teach you how to get it and how to what? Keep it. We don't want to teach you how to lose it. That's why we're learning from them not to lose it because they lose it. They got it. Then they turn around and what? They lost it because they didn't know how to keep it. That's this is dead. This is these got that one. And the children of Israel did even the sight of the Lord and served them. Now, if you hold your finger there, we're going to see that Joshua taught, oh, well, this is another generation, so they don't know nothing. That's right, they don't know nothing. They what? They simple. What a simple person is. They don't know nothing. That's what the scripture said. And the children did evil. And they, said, and they didn't know the word. They didn't, they didn't know anything in Israel. They ain't had nobody to teach them. But they, you're going to have to teach them now. They ain't had nobody to what? They ain't going to have nobody, they nobody to teach them. I said, Generation 5, and nobody in that group could teach these people nothing. That's bad. Look at that 12th verse. They forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves to them, and provoked the Lord to what? You want to get our God angry? Start praying to them out. Talk to them, and they can't talk about it. Got out of the scene, they can't see nothing. Man tell you it's all right, he's lying to you. The word of God says wrong. Don't do it. Don't follow man. Follow the word. Look at that 
perishing bird. They will seek the Lord and serve Baal and Asherah. Because 14 bird. And the anger of the Lord was not, with, and the anger of the Lord, you lying. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. I rebuke that not, devil. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoils and spoiled them. And he told, and he sold them in the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Who did that? God did it. Why God did that? It was certain our God. See, he's a judge. God is a king. He can't let nobody just come in his kingdom and do what they want to do after he done blessed them. So I understand this. I got the blessing of God on my life. God just blesses me, but I don't have to go against him because I'm a loser. I ain't doing that. I'll fight sin. I'll fight the devil and everybody else, amen, uh, that's working for the devil and get them free. I'll pray for them to go free, Lord. Amen. The one the devil uses in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And then let it come back on them, amen. They're going to reap what they sow to keep sowing what the devil putting out. And they ain't going to like it when they come back to them. 15 verse. Whatsoever, amen, they went out, amen, the hand of the Lord was against them for what? As God hand again. Now his, his hand was, was uh, good uh, uh, for them for good. Now it is against them for evil because they went against God. Now I'm going to go against God and want God to run with me. How that's going to work? It don't work. My God, my God, my God. Uh, Lord bless us now. Uh, spawned in there, let's see. Uh, wherefore he went out and the, and the hand of the Lord was against him for evil, as the Lord had said. Now he said that in this word. Amen. In fact, amen, Joshua talked about it, amen, in that verse. Amen. That God was going to make them wealthy, just as God make them wealthy, he's going to turn around and put something on them if they forsake God. He told them about it. But this generation don't know nothing. To teach the other generation what can happen to them. They ain't got no knowledge. Uh, Lord, I'm going to teach them, Lord. I'm going to teach the generation I'm in and the one that's coming behind me, like that David. The whole well family. Uh, Sister Samara. And uh, the brother uh, Corey. And brother uh, Wesley. And my other little sister. Uh, and you ball. So I'll teach them. So they can know how to go against the Lord, get their blessing and keep it. And the Lord, amen, has sworn unto them, because he sworn to them, he told them that was going to happen. And they were greatly distressed. Uh, 16 verse, nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, amen, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges. God raised a people to deliver them, to set them free. Amen. And let them go free. Amen. What they was in bondage to. Amen. Is he still the same today? He's the same God today. He raised up his son. Amen. To get us out of bondage. Yes. To get us out of sin. Yes. He gave us his son. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. For you. God is an awesome God. Thank God. Amen. That he's still working for us today. Amen. Bless God. To get us free. And whom the son set free is free indeed. We got seven bread, and yet they would not hearken to that judgment, but they wagged their horn after other gods, bowed themselves unto them, and they turned quickly out of the, uh, amen, uh, Edomai, out uh, of the way which their father walked in, and obeyed the, uh, 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 in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. They didn't obey the command. People think the commandments of God have been done away. Don't listen to man. Man lying and tell you ain't been another way with it. God's still telling you the same thing. Don't do it. Don't break his commandments thinking you're all right because you can shout, praise the Lord. Amen. You got a gift working in your life. Amen. Look, God gives us without repentance. I understand that. So I'm a fruit inspector. I don't just look at your gifts. I inspect your fruits along with your gifts. In the name of Jesus. 
18 verse. And when the Lord raised them up, judges. Amen. Then the Lord was with, amen, with the judges and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judges. For it repented the Lord because of the groaning by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. So when he gave them over the enemies, amen, he began to cry to the Lord. Who shall call on the name of the Lord? Shall be what? Say. You got to keep calling on them. Lord, I believe. Get you out of that thing you even got yourself in. Amen. Don't stop until you come out. And once it gets you out, don't go back in. 19 verse. And it came to pass when the judgment was dead, uh, that they returned and corrupt themselves more than their fathers and fathers other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them. And it ceased not from their own doings, nor from the, their what? Stubborn ways. You got some people just stubborn. They're going to do it their way. They don't care. And then they think because God and gave them all, that, all the blessings they got, they think God is going to be with them and they're wrong. Uh, you're going to lose them blessings. I'm going to tell you, tell you like it is. And so if you want to keep them, you got to be obedient to God. Amen. Bless God once you get it. Now these children of Israel, amen, they, they thought God was going to go along with their foolishness. God is not going to go along with my foolishness. i got to stop it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We got 20 verse. And the anger of the Lord was against Israel. And he said, because that these people had transgressed my covenant, which I command their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice. So God has a voice. His voice is his commandment, is his word, his law. Amen. It's what Jesus teaches. Amen. You gotta go learn. Amen. The teaching of Jesus. And the four gospels. Amen. Start in John first. Amen. Don't start in Genesis. Start in John. So you can learn something about Jesus. And get yourself saved and get some Holy Ghost in you. Have you fight this devil. Amen. Turn on dry. Also, would not, amen, uh, hit for drive at all in any from before them of the nation which uh, Joshua left when he died. So they didn't, uh, Joshua didn't, didn't get rid of all the nations. Amen. God told them to do it. But, it, but Joshua is dead. And now he got some more still left. God said, I ain't getting rid of them because they don't want to act right. I'm going to just give them over to them. We don't want to do right. You just give you over to the devil. Let the devil get hold of you. Now, he's going to destroy that devil. It's going to come a time. He's going to lock him up for a thousand years. Then let him loose. And then he's going to turn around and fire. And then after that, he's going to destroy him completely. And the children and, and, his, and his people are going to enjoy the goodness of God forever. They ain't going to have to be tempted no more, tried no more by the devil. So if you don't want to act right, God will give you over to the devil. When he gets through with you, you'll be glad to cry to God. He what? He said, Lord, what? Save me, Lord. I got myself in this thing. How many times, preacher, I got to repent until you, 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 you stop sinning? Get it right. Get you some power so you won't sin no more. Put you some word in you so you can stop sinning. Uh, that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein, as their father did keep it and are not. 23rd verse. Therefore the Lord left those nations uh, without driving them out hastily, uh, neither delivered and uh, he them into the hand of Joshua. So God left them for a reason. Amen. So when they didn't want to act right, he, he, let, he let them get hold of them, take care of them. I'm going to put a pin here. Amen. So now we find out we dealt with Adam, Moses. Amen. We dealt with Joshua. Joshua stayed faithful to God. We've seen how he came out. Amen. Now we're dealing with the children of Israel, and we've seen how they came out. So I'm going to put a pin. I'm going to put start here, because we're going to deal with Saul and Samuel. Hopefully, the Lord spare our life. We're going to continue through the Word of God, through the Bible, and find out what they did. And you're going to even find out in the New Testament. Amen. When he let that woman go free that was committing adultery. He said, go and what? Sin no more. Don't go back and sin. I'm letting you go free. Uh, I got rid of all your accusers. Uh, they took all because they were sinning. And they're trying to judge you. And I done got rid of them. He said, why are thy accusers? He said, Lord, I ain't got none. He said, go and sin no more. 
need to accuse you. And Jesus Christ, somebody. He wants us to go free. Amen. Bless God. Now, amen. And now we're going to bring it to another study. Amen. Where Jesus Christ healed a man. Amen. And saw him in the temple. And he said, uh, go and send the more lesser. Worst thing worst thing come on. Somebody knows something over here. Jesus probably says that. Unless the worst thing come on you. So you can get your healing, you can get your salvation, just don't go back and wild back into the sin Christ set you free. Amen. Learn how to fight like you never learned before. Shut the word of God, how to do a good fight and put on the whole arm of God. Amen. Bless God. We're going to be dealing with that. We like to teach you, amen, both sides of this thing so you can get the victory of it. So you can keep your blessing, your healing, and your salvation. Lord, have mercy, God. So you want uh, the curse won't come on you. So you can keep your blessing, amen, that Christ paid the curse for. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Glory be to God. So the Abraham will come on you. Give the Lord a hand clap for years. I'm going to get myself drunk with you. Amen. We're not out of words. Amen. Bless God. We're not going to run out of time again. Amen. Bless God. So we're going to teach you both sides of this. Amen. So you can get it all. 